Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, the novel MPT design using the generalized pattern search for partial sh shading. The problem on partial shading is that it cover it. So uh, first we'll be talking about the, uh, in, uh, we have the introduction, Pair we'll talk about the GPS uh, algorithm, how it works, or pair how we use it for the MPPD design and how the simulations uh, were done and the conclusion. So, uh, like in the previous presentation, uh, the group talked about conventional techniques jo hamare paas hain, or hamare paas jo, uh, how they don't work under rapidly changing conditions, unki advantages or disadvantages. Then we have the offline techniques, uh, the, and we have the hybrid techniques, the soft computing, uh, computing techniques. Then we have evolutionary techniques hai, and uh, we have the artificial intelligent algorithms. So uh, GPS ki baat karenge, uh, it's a, uh, it is very similar to the uh, PSO algorithm, which is the um, particle swarm optimization uh, 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 algorithm. So uh, talking about, uh, first of all, this generalized pattern search is, uh, it is derivative free, it is robust, simple, accurate and exhibits fastest convergence. It takes a very, uh, uh, delay bohat kam hai, uh, in the processing. So it, uh, it is because it requires uh, very few parameters uh, and the algorithm is far more simpler than other uh, soft computing techniques. So the reason is ke, uh, the reason is that uh, wo sample kam leta hai, uh, baki techniques say so that's why uh, 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 GM is uh, uh, the global maxima is identified much more quicker compared to the other techniques uh, in partial shading. Baki jo humne techniques already many aapko mentioned ki thi uske andar uh, wo uh, partial shading ke andar uh, kya kete hain itna zada acha kaam nahi karte. Or Ye jo GS, GPS hai, it enhances the tracking ability and dynamic efficiency. So it basically it's uh ke jo hamare global maxima hai, wahan tak ke jo uski tracking hai, it's much faster. So jo oscillations hai, aati hai, which we, we will uh, talk about in the next uh, in the upcoming slides as well, comparing with the other uh, GPS systems. Can you go back to the previous slide? Uh, and uh, yeah, so the oscillations that we're going to be talking about, wo baki systems mein zyada hai compared to GPS. GPS ki oscillations bahut kam hai. Uh, in steady weather conditions, uh, which re which uh, produce uh, you know come uh, power loss of the PV system ke andar because of uh, GPS. Global maxima jaldi uh, steady hota uske andar. Uh, Upper like also mentioned that it's very very uh, complexity is uh, low, so low uh, low computational power is uh, required, and so it's a low cost embedded system. And because um, yeah, be uh, building uh, integrated PV systems ke under uh, partial shading ka problem jo hai, it's too much, so it is uh, highly suited for that, very ideal for that. So, uh, uh, yeah, we go on to the next slide. So, uh, basically, we see over here we have a PV array, then we have it is connected to the MPPT, and then it is con connected to the MOSFET driver and the DC, then to the DC DC uh, converter and to the load. We have uh, sensors which measure the IPV and VPV and uh, feed it to the uh, you know, they send the readings to the MPPT. So, uh, and on the right, we have we have the ideal PV model and the practical PV model as well. Uh, moving on next, uh, there's a diagram here of the uniform radiance, and we have the partial shading case. Uh, like previously mentioned in the in the previous presentation, the, that you know. Uh, we use the bypass diodes for the partial shading uh, uh, conditions, so uh, uh, so that uh, it doesn't 
disturb the rest of the PV system. Uh, then we can see over here on the right side that we have the PV characteristic uh, for the uniform and partial shading. The light blue line is for the uniform uh, rad uh, irradiance uh, characteristic. So you can see it, it is a straight line and it uh, starts going down at around 105, I guess. So, and we can see over here the rest of the lines for different irradiances. Uh, it shows that uh, at partial shading conditions, what it is uh, like. Uh, then going on to the next one. Next slide. Uh, GPS algorithms is uh, there are basically two phases in it. One is the search phase and the other is the poll phase. So basically what it does is that you cross the it's going to take four um, it's going to take four, uh, it's going to take a finite set of points, for example, four here, na? and it's going to, uh, out of all those four points, it's going to decide the best point. Then it's going to move on to that point in B, look. Na? Then you see the C diagram. Again, it's going to look for the best one, best point, and it's, and it's going to go to that point. Then you move on to D. Uh, then to E, such and such that you, until you reach H, you have a step by, it's, you have reached the point. Now in the case, pe, when the optimum, uh, the, then you move on to the pole phase. That phase is when the optimum solution is not achieved. Okay? The mesh points are updated with new values and then it, the objective function is evaluated based on the new mesh points. So, so the main uh, control variables, uh, uh, can you move on to the next slide, please? Uh, so uh, GPS for, yeah. So the control variables are the current and the voltage, which we saw in the diagram earlier uh, that, were, uh, that were taken from the sensors. And these values are measured and fed to the microcontroller. The microcontroller is basically, uh, it is the uh, main embedded block uh, of the uh, GPS system uh, implementation. Okay? And uh, the output of the controller is basically the duty cycle of the DC to DC converter. So basically, you can see over here that uh, we have these formulas here. Uh, DK, uh, DIK plus one and DIK represent the current and the future duty cycle values of the iteration I. Basically, the iteration I that we are talking about here is the number of iterations it's going to take to reach to the global maxima. Uh, the, uh, we won't be getting stuck in the local ma local maxima in GPS algorithm compared to other algorithms, like PNO algorithm, you get in, stuck into the uh, local maxima. How uh, we do that is uh, we can see uh, over here. Basically, our uh, pseudo code here. In this case, we have values that were initialized, ki gai, beta, ki, gamma, ki, uh, TH key. Basically, these values are based on the previous slide, uh, the equations that you see. Um, uh, that is the gamma, and the, we calculate the gamma from the uh, we calculate the gamma from the uh, values that we are getting. So, pseudocode can you can see over here that uh, we sense the voltage and the current and calculate gamma. Gamma calculate ho gaya? And then we calculate the total fitness. So total fitness calculate karne ke baad, what happens is that we only change the value that when um, when we only change the value, the uh, worst value jo hai na, uh, worst value could replace hum ne karna hota hai. So uh, it calculates the best and the worst power values and replaces the worst power with the new power by applying a new duty cycle. So duty cycle uh, is calculated using the equation earlier that we talked about. And, uh, the, and the process keeps on repeating again and again. Uh, 
uh, until the overall standard deviation value of the function um, becomes lower than the threshold value. So the threshold value is usually close to zero. Or partial shading conditions ke andar, jo PV curve hota hai, wo bohut, uh, ke local maxima zyada hote hain aur ek global maximum hota hai. To isliye do, jo, um, in the GPS algorithm, uh, it finds the local maxima and it compares it with overall best values achieved. So uh, as a result, um, the minor change, uh, the minor chance of this, uh, you know, there's a low chance of uh, this algorithm getting stuck in local uh, maximas. So you can see over here that we very easily uh, wo global maxima humne find kar liya hai. So, uh, uh, converging start ho jati hai. Uh, can you move on to the next slide? Uh, so, uh, okay, we have a PV uh, theorem. You take over from here? Yes, sure. Uh -huh. Thank you, Aisha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, here it is shown the schematic and flow chart of the algorithm which we are using to find max, uh, MPPT. Uh, the schematic is showing that our control variable is actually the du duty cycle of the DC to DC boost converter. And the uh, flow chart mein uski, uh, process has been told that it has been done. First of all, it initially aapke open circuit voltage or short circuit current. It has been done by microcontroller. Hai. Uske baad, uske paas ek range has been done by points. Ki. उन पॉइंट्स की रेंज में से वो एक फिनाइट पॉइंट्स उठाता है और फिनाइट पॉइंट्स उठा के उनमें से वो फिर उन पे वैल्यूज uh, कैलकुलेट करता है पावर की और उसमें से जो वर्स्ट वैल्यू होती है कंपैरेटिवली उसको वो रिप्लेस करता जाता है नई वैल्यू से इससे क्या होता है आपका डाटा टुवर्ड्स कन्वर्जेंस चलना शुरू हो जाता है और वो आपका uh, जो फिनाइट पॉइंट्स उसने लिए हैं वो रिफ्रेश करके तो वो uh, तरह से सारे उसका जो आपका रेंज आ रही होती है वो कवर हो जाती है और uh, this is the reason that this local maximum is stuck. Uh, moving on, we have the Simulink model. When uh, we implemented it, we have the simulation results under different weather conditions. We have the cases in which we have the uh, GPS output. This is the graph of points. This is the point that we have to do iterations. Mein usne global maxima ko reach kiya hai ye aapki code ne kitni iterations li hain aur ye step wise uh, usne bataya hai ki ye asal mein hota kya hai wo shuru kahan se karta hai ye point 1 se usne shuru kiya hai aur wo peak dhoond raha hai point 1 se 2 pe aaya hai 2 se 3 pe aaya hai acha 3 se 4 agar aap dekhein to wo ek huge jump hai 4 se 5 dekhein to wo peak se aage matlab ki ye जो randomly values उठा रहा है आपकी जो उसके पास एक data set आ गया है जो initially उसने measure किया है short circuit current and open circuit voltage उस data set में से randomly values उठा के तो वो उसपे calculations करता है और उसमें से worst values को replace करता जाता है तो हमारी जो standard deviation जब तक हमारी minimum नहीं हो जाती तब तक ये process चलता रहता है और जैसे ही उसको peak मिल जाती है वो उस peak पे converge कर जाता है so this is the advantage that this is towards convergence and this is not oscillate. This is the case that they have taken for 6 weather conditions. So the case A is the uniform shading and the case C is the case that they have taken for partial shading and we have 4 points, peak points. They have found a global peak. So as you see in this graph, तकरीबन 20 iterations इसकी हो और उसके बाद वो global maximum पे पहुंच गया। uh, different techniques क्योंकि uh, इसका literature ऐसे था नहीं ये technique पहले MPPT के लिए use नहीं हुई भी। तो इसका फिर हम uh, जो paper में comparison है वो दिया हुआ था P&O uh, PSO के साथ। तो हमारे जो छः cases हैं that is A B C D E F यहाँ लिखे हैं और uh, partial uh, जो पहला केस है वो है यूनिफॉर्म रेडियंस पे एंड 
اس کے بعد جو پانچ کیسز ہیں وہ پارشل شیڈنگ پہ ہیں تو یہاں اگر آپ دیکھیں تو پروپوز جی پی ایس جو ہے اس کے اندر آپ اس کا کنورجنس ٹائم دیکھیں کہ کتنی دیر میں اس نے فائنڈ کیا ہے اور چھ کے چھ کیسز میں وہ اس نے گلوبل میکسیما فائنڈ کر لیا ہے جبکہ جو ہمارا پی ایس او الگوریدم ہے اس کے کنورجنس ٹائم کمپیوٹیشنل ٹائم وہ بھی زیادہ ہے اور اس کا جو مطلب کنورجنس ٹائم زیادہ ہے لیکن اس کا پروسس سیم ہے مطلب جی پی ایس سے ملتا جلتا پروسس ہے اور جو پی اینڈ او میتھڈ ہے ہمارا اس کے کنورجنس ٹائم تو کام ہے لیکن اگر آپ اس کی پارشل شیڈنگ کنڈیشنز دیکھیں تو اس میں وہ گلوبل میکسیما پہ پہنچا ہی نہیں ہے وہ کسی لوکل میکسیما پہ پہنچ کے تو اسی کے اوپر وہ آسیلیٹ کیے جا رہے ہیں یہ یونیفارم ریڈینس پہ کمپیرزن ہے تین ٹیکنیکس کا جی پی ایس الگوریدم ہمارا دیکھیں تو فگر ٹویلف آپ دیکھیں تو انیشلی اس نے دو تین اس کی آسیلیشنز ہوئی ہیں اور اس کے بعد وہ کنورج کر گیا گلوبل میکسیما پہ اور اگر آپ باقی دیکھیں آپ پارٹیکل سوام آپٹمائزیشن میتھڈ دیکھیں تو کافی زیادہ اس کو جو ہے کمپیوٹیشن کرنی پڑی ہے تب جا کے وہ آپ کے گلوبل میکسیما پہ پہنچ ہے اور یہی اگر آپ لے جائیں نون یونیفارم ریڈینس کے کیس میں تو آپ کا جو پی اینڈ او میتھڈ ہے اس نے آسیلیشن شروع کر دی ہے ایک ہی پوائنٹ پہ اور جی پی ایس آپ کا جو ہے وہ شروع میں تھوڑا سا آسیلیٹ کیا اور وہ ریپیٹلی کنورج ہو گیا ہے جبکہ جو پی ایس او میتھڈ ہے وہ بہت دیر میں جا کے تو وہ کنورج ہوا ہے پیک پہ اور پارشل شیڈنگ کے کیس میں آپ کو اس گراف سے بھی ایویڈنٹ ہے کہ جو پرٹربن آبزرو ہے ایک تو وہ لوکل منیما پہ سٹک ہو گیا ہے دوسرا یہ کہ اس کی آسیلیشنز کلیرڈی نظر آ رہی ہیں کہ وہ آسیلیٹ کر رہا ہے جبکہ پارٹیکل سوام آپٹیمائزیشن میتھڈ جو ہے اس کو کافی دیر لگی ہے اس کا کمپیوٹیشن ٹائم بہت زیادہ ہے تو ہمارا اور جی پی ایس اگر ہم اس کے کمپیرزن میں دیکھیں تو وہ شروع میں تھوڑا سا اس کو ٹائم لگا ہے لیکن اس کے بعد وہ ریپیٹلی کنورج ہو گیا ہے ٹوورڈز تا گلوبل منیما اور اس کی اوورال ایفیشنسیز اگر ہم کمپیر کریں تو جی پی ایس is 99.8 پرسنٹ ایفی جبکہ ہمارا پرٹو این اوبزرو جس بکاوز آف آسیلیشنز جس کی ویسے وولٹیج لاس ہوتا ہے that is 61 پرسنٹ ایفیشنٹ and پارٹیکل سوام اپٹیمائزیشن جی پی ایس کے قریب ترین ہے ایفیشنٹ بھی ہے لیکن کیونکہ اس کا کمپیوٹیشن ٹائم زیادہ ہے تو وہ پریفرڈ نہیں ہے جی پی ایس اس حساب سے بیٹر ہے ہمارے پاس تو کنکلوجن یہ ہے کہ جنڈرلائز پیٹن سرچ کو میکسیمم پاور پوائنٹ ٹریک کرنے کے لیے اس پیپر میں پروپوز کیا گیا ہے کیونکہ یہ روبسٹ ہے اور اس کی ٹریکنگ ایبیلیٹی سپیریئر ہے اور اس کی ایفیشنسی زیادہ ہے دوسرا یہ کہ یہ سمپل ہے این ایکسپنسیو ہے اور دوسرا یہ کہ اس کی ڈیریویٹیو فری نیچر ہے اس سے آپ کی کمپیوٹیشن کاؤسٹ کافی کم ہو جاتی ہے آپ کا لوڈ بہت کم ہو جاتا ہے کمپیوٹیشن لوڈ اور جب ہم نے بیلڈنگ انٹیگریٹڈ پی وی سسٹمز میں اس کو یوز کرنا ہے کیونکہ اس میں آپ اوائیڈ نہیں کر سکتے پارشل شیڈنگ کو کسی بھی تو یہ لو کاؤسٹ اور ہائی ایفیشنسی کی وجہ سے اس کو پروپوز کیا گیا ہے اور یہ آپ کا جو منی آپ انویسٹ کر رہے ہو یہ اس کا پی بیک بھی اچھا ہے اور اس کا پروفٹ مارجن بھی اس میں زیادہ ہے 